This is the governor control engine speed circuit or the throttle DMR circuit for diesel engine locomotives fitted with EDC governor. This circuit is used to control the speed of the diesel locomotive. The speed of the diesel engine is controlled by energizing particular combination of engine speed relays that is ESR1, ESR2, ESR3 and ESR4. This is achieved by moving the throttle handle to different notch positions as required. The speed of the diesel engine can be varied from idle speed of 400 rpm to the speed up to 1000 or 1050 rpm at 8 notches in predetermined steps. To raise the engine speed, following conditions have to be fulfilled. They are The engine control switch or the ECS should be in run position. PCS and the DMR should be in pickup position and the multiple unit stop device should be in run position. In this circuit, cable number 50 is the main source of the circuit. When the circuit breakers, master control breaker 1 and master control breaker 2 are closed on both the control stands, Cable number 16A is energized. Current from cable number 16A flows through the throttle interlock on idle position selector handle motoring interlock of both the control stands and energizes cable number 16 which gives positive supply to the DMR coil and negative supply from close interlock of 30K4 of the PCS contacts energizes DMR and the DMR holds via its self interlocks 16A 16F and 16F 16. As the driver moves the throttle handle, the throttle interlocks open and the current from cable number 16 energizes the MUSD interlock 167B and 7B7A. Further, the engine speed relays ESR1, ESR2 and ESR3 get energized through the cable number 7A depending upon the position of the throttle. Then ESR4 is energized via cable number 16 through the interlocks of throttle position 5 and 6. The energization position of the engine speed relays as per the throttle handle position is as per this chart. On locomotive, the speed signal originates from three-phase TACO generator. It is fed into the saturating transformer in the engine control panel. The output of the engine speed saturating transformer is rectified by a six-diode network CRT5 and the DC output is then fed into the speed setting circuit. The net resistance of the speed setting circuit can be adjusted through 8 different values by energizing the engine speed relays ESR1 to ESR4 in the combination as shown in the chart. 8 combination of resistances are obtained as the throttle is moved from notch 1 to notch 8. The governor speed coil is balanced by 475 milliamperes of current. Whenever the current increases above 475 milliamperes, the engine RPM is increased. Similarly, when the current dips below 475 milliamperes, the engine RPM is decreased. 
This is achieved by GCR. The GCR always ensures 475 mA of current by varying resistance as per notch position as shown in the chart. Rheostat SAR1 SAR2 are used to set 8th notch and the first notch or idle speed respectively. Rheostat SAR3 which is normally set at zero resistance provides a means to temporarily increase engine speed above the 8th notch in order to check the speed at which the overspeed device shuts down the engine. Devices intended to hold the engine speed at idle speed regardless of throttle position have control interlocks between cable number 31D and 4. At idle position, current from cable number 13 energizes the cable number 16A via closed master control breakers 1 and master control breakers 2 and further energizes throttle handle interlocks at idle, cable number 30D selector handle interlocks, cable number 30F throttle handle interlocks at idle, cable number 30B selector handle interlocks, cable number 16. Current from cable number 16 flows through DMR coil and close PCS contact 30K4 and the cable number 4 is energized. Now the DMR self interlock 1616F and 16F16A come to close position. The rectified output of TACO generator flows through CRT5, SAR3, SAR2, cable number 31D, interlocks of ESR1 and ECS, ESR3 and completes its path with cable number 4, speed coil of pilot valve, cable number 31Z, SAR coil and cable number 31. As the throttle handle is brought to first notch position, the throttle handle interlocks open, de-energizing the concerned path and the cable number 16 continues to receive supply via cable number 16A, the closed DMR self interlocks 16A-16F and 16F-16. The rectified output of TACO generator energizes CRT5, SAR3, SAR2, cable number 31D, interlock of ESR1 and ESR3 and completes its path via cable number 4, speed coil of pilot valve, cable number 31Z and the SAR coil. In the second notch position, the ESR1 gets energized by cable number 16, MUSD interlock 16-7B and 7B-7A and throttle handle interlocks. The normally closed interlock of ESR1 opens. The rectified output of the TACO generator energizes CRT5, SAR3, SAR2, GCR, cable number 31F, Interlock of ESR3, BKR2, ESR3 and completes its circuit with cable number 4, speed coil of pilot valve, cable number 31Z, SAR coil and cable number 31. In the third notch position, the ESR3 gets energized. The normally closed interlock of ESR1 closes due to de-energization of the coil of ESR1. The interlock of ESR3 changes position from 31F to 31FF.
The rectified output of TACO generator flows through CRT5, SAR3, SAR2, cable 31D, interlock of ESR1, BKR2, ESR3, cable number 31FF, GCR, interlock of ESR2 and completes its circuit with cable number 4, speed coil of pilot valve, cable number 31Z, SAR coil and cable number 31. In the fourth notch position, the ESR1 and the ESR3 get energized. The normally closed interlock of ESR1 opens due to energization of ESR1. The interlock of ESR3 changes position from 31F to 31FF. The rectified output of the TACO generator flows through CRT5, SAR3, SAR2, GCR, cable number 31H, interlock of ESR2 and completes its path with cable number 4, speed coil of pilot valve, cable number 31Z, SAR coil and cable number 31. In the fifth notch position, ESR2, ESR3 and ESR4 get energized. The normally closed interlock of ESR1 closes due to de-energization of ESR1. Interlock of ESR3 changes position from 31F to 31FF. The normally open interlock of ESR4 closes and normally closed interlock of ESR2 opens. The rectified output of the TACO generator flows through CRT5, SAR3, SAR2, cable number 31D, interlock of ESR1, BKR2, ESR3, cable number 31FF, GCR, cable number 31G, interlocks of ESR4 and completes its path with cable number 4, speed coil of pilot valve, cable number 31Z, SAR coil and cable number 31. In the 6th notch position, the ESR1, ESR2, ESR3 and ESR4 get energized. The normally closed interlock of ESR1 opens due to energization of ESR1. Interlock of ESR3 changes position from 31F to 31FF. Normally open interlocks of ESR4 closes and normally closed interlock of ESR2 opens. The rectified output of TACO generator flows through CRT5, SAR3, SAR2, cable number 31D, 31F, GCR, interlock of ESR4 and completes its path with cable number 4, speed coil of pilot valve, cable 31Z, SAR coil and cable number 31. In the 7th notch position, ESR2 and ESR3 get energized. The normally closed interlock of ESR1 closes due to de-energization of ESR1. The interlock of ESR3 changes position from 31F to 31FF and normally closed interlock of ESR2 opens. Rectified output of TACO generator flows through CRT5, SAR3, SAR2, cable 31B, interlock of ESR1, BKR2, ESR3, cable number 31FF, 31H, SAR1 and completes its path with cable number 4, speed coil of pilot valve, cable number 31Z, SAR coil and cable number 31. In the 8th notch position, ESR1, ESR2 and ESR3 get energized. 
the normally closed interlock of ESR1 opens due to energization of ESR1. Interlock of ESR3 changes position from 31F to 31FF. Normally closed interlock of ESR2 opens. The rectified output of TACO generator energizes CRT5, SAR3, SAR2, GCR, SAR1 and returns to its original path via cable number 4, speed coil of pilot valve, cable number 31Z, SAR coil and cable number 31.